You too. You too. Oh, Chloe. Thank you. Congratulations on all the things happening in your life right now. You're yeah. doing. You're just killing it. Last time we talked, it's Christmas time. Last time yes. we talked about Christmas villages, like mm -hmm. we decorated, to be decorated this year. I'm halfway up. I, I my house was under renovation, so everything was in storage, and they pulled it down. And I started putting my tree together, and I was like, something's missing. And my team thinks I'm crazy because I have a lot of villages, a lot of houses, and Me I'm too. like, something's missing. And she was like, you're right. My sister had everything pulled down, and I was like, I told you, the house was missing. <laughs> I know my village. Me too. What did you add this year? So my son decided because <laughs> we have New York, we have we have islands. We have New oh. York and Brooklyn. Wow. Brooklyn. Yeah, we have a Brooklyn set. Okay. I was like, okay. I was like, maybe next year we'll add Jersey. I don't know what we're doing, but he they're all the Charles Dickens. It's still the department, you know, it's yeah. still that old school thing. But yeah. he but he calls them. My seven-year-old son was like, oh no, that's Brooklyn. I was like, okay. I didn't even know you knew that yet. Like I didn't even know you, like what? Like it was, but yeah, it's all set. It's not, we're not final. It's not final. Yeah. This week is actually, I'm putting the final. When touches. I get back, that's when it's all together. I'm yeah. adding a road. I added a carousel. A, road. a beautiful <gasps> carousel. We don't have I a carousel. I added an ice skate ring. We have an ice skating ring. Yeah, do you have the water fountain? Girl, what? No. <laughs> we don't have a water fountain. I have the water fountain. I don't have a water fountain and I don't have a carousel. I have a police station and a fire station. We have a police station, fire Does station. Does the car come in and out like this? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a picture. Um, okay, so what about ch your childhood? What's like a favorite Christmas memory? Oh, favorite Christmas memory. I remember one year, because of me, it was my bright idea, I'm the creative in the family, and I put together, I was like, let's have a family um, um, talent show. Yes. And so I thought I was gonna win because you know I'm the talent of the family. <laughs> and I sang um, Angel by, um, uh, Need a bag of a blank. Thanks. And yeah. then my uncles came in and they blew the roof off the house with um, the Temptation song. Oh, which one? Um, it's Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Because I have an uncle with the. Why can't I think of songs today? Say that again. Silent Night, yes. <laughs> Silent Night. No one's ever heard of it. No, right. That's a, no, yeah. it's a new. It's a new it's song, a new apparently. Song. So but, they, um, they kicked they you behind. They killed it. They totally stole the show. And this literally, we talk about it to this day. I mean, this was when I was 12. I'm 53. We're still talking oh my about God, this wait. moment. Wait, I totally thought you meant you did this as an adult. And you no. were like, and you were like, I wanted everyone to do a talent show because I was gonna I win. And I was like, yes. I, I was just picturing you at like 35, just like no, I was I've just... got my Anita Baker. <laughs> okay, I love it. It's even it would have been better if you would have been 35. So what's one of your favorite Christmas memories with your son? Oh God. He's older now, but like No, he, he's yeah. grown now. But the, I loved when they're little bits. Yeah. You know, when they're little, 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 because yeah. but you know, that's like, my baby. He's so good grown now, and that was, I produced that play on Broadway, Ja Ja. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome to see his mama killing it. Yes. Yeah. He was so proud. Yeah. He really was proud. It is, I have the young age still, so it is kind of it's still fun. fun. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, you know, I think we have more fun than they do, like putting the to toys together the night before, yeah. but my son was funny. He liked what he liked. So he would pick like two or three things. I swear I think I picked the wrong baby up at the hospital. <laughs> but he would pick like four toys and that's all he wanted. And I would buy him like 12 thinking he wants this, he wants this. This is me with he my children. Hurt, did, he, did, did he hurt my feelings because I would watch him open the gifts and he would be like, eh, mm. <laughs> And he would get those four gifts that he asked for Grab those up and go in his room, and all the other stuff I bought is just sitting outside. And I can beat sure. this. I can beat this. My kids don't even open them all. <laughs> There's not that many. Like you know what I'm saying? They will literally open once they find something they like. They just go play They're with gone. it. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I spent a lot of time doing this. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> like. I'm These like, kids, they're so privileged. I'm like, what? Yeah, they do not know what it's like. Anyway, let's, and we worked hard for that, but yeah. whatever. That was a look at her new movie, The Color Purple. That is an intense, I was telling her that I was like, my thighs hurt from watching this clip. Like, yes. like you're on that table, it looks fun. Like sometimes when you have alcohol in you, you don't know until the next day. But when you don't have alcohol in right. you, it feels like you're snowboarding. No. Yeah, your thighs burn. No, everything was burning. Yeah. Um, and what you did not see is that I was, I had to ice my knees in between every take. How many takes? How many times they? Uh, listen, 
Oprah <coughs> has seen all of the footage from every angle and she counted. She said, I climbed up on that table 88 times. <laughs> but your adrenaline goes, you know, I wasn't counting. I don't, I don't think so. 88 no. times. No. And I don't have Meg the Stallion knees. And so I'm climbing up there and I'm dropping it low, child. <laughs> Heels, by the way. Yeah, they no. were character shoes, though. No, they were, they were character Who cares? <laughs> They're not flat. <laughs> They're not flat. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. No, it was a lot of work. What was it like for you? Like, I can't imagine seeing this as a kid, and then now you're in it, right? Yeah. Like how? This I never imagined seen. myself in it. I yeah. never. I just remember seeing the movie in 1985. I was 15, and I had been. Um, that's when I, the, the acting bug awakened in me. And I was like, I think I want to do that. And I remember going to the theater and seeing all of those black faces. And I saw me. Yeah. That allowed me to dream. Yeah. That allowed me to go, hey, I, I can do that. And so shortly after that, I started really getting serious about acting. And then when I got into college, I read the book. And I was like, Whoa. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, Alice Walker did a great thing. This is, this is like one of the cornerstone pieces of literature of American culture. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, everybody knows this movie, white, black, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It transcends race, color, religion, you it's know, it's, yeah. it's, it is. And mm -hmm. everybody can really see themselves in some of these characters. And what I love about it is with this film, we're gonna be breaking generational curses, you know, healing families, um, hopefully. Yeah. Because a lot of us were healed doing this film. You yeah. know, um, you think you got over some things and here you are faced with a character that has, and you have to kind of take the band off, band aid off of something you thought that healed. And yeah. that art can be really healing. You know, yeah. it really can. Did you dive into the character? Do you relate at all? I, you know, I did, you know, because she was literally the cookie of the 1920s. Yeah, you gotta, I know. It's a no, yeah. literally, she got off the plantation and was like, I'm gonna make something of myself. You gotta remember, this, this film, take this movie, take, the book opens up as the first generation of freed slaves. Mm -hmm. So a lot of slaves was like, well, we free, but where are we going? Yeah. So they were still sharecropping and minding, you know, the, the, the land that they were living on. This one decided, I'm gonna break free and I'm gonna make something of myself. And so she was like a change maker. Every time she came on the scene, she lifted this, she lifted it and everybody, I had a journalist say, she's almost like an alien that comes down from out of space. And that's how the town treats her. It's like a big deal when Suge Avery comes to town because um, the people that she left behind didn't have dreams. Or if they did, they were deferred. You know, and she didn't allow her dreams to be deferred. Yeah, she was afraid. The people were afraid to dream that big. Exactly. Yeah. So she she was the dreamer, you yeah. know, and she came back and I feel like lives. this is you. I feel like you're that person too. Every time I run into you, you're such a light. Like every time you come out, yeah, you are that person Thank though. You. When you enter a room. <laughs> like you. it couldn't have been cast more perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when it comes to like talking about injustice or racism, like things like mm -hmm. that, like I have friends like they have to talk to their kids differently than I had to have a talk with my kids. Did yeah. you feel that with your boy growing up? Oh, absolutely. Even now at 30, yeah. Oh, even to this day. Yeah. I mean, I think any black mother, grandmother, uh, niece, auntie, we worry about our black men. We worry about if they leave the house, will they come back? Um, if you, th this is something that lives in, in our subconscious. It's, it's just there. We carry it well but it's always there, especially when you're triggered by something on the news or mm -hmm. you're scrolling, you know, Instagram and some, some kid has been unjustly arrested or shot or something. It sends a shock wave, not only through you, but through the entire community because we feel it. We yeah. feel it as one unit. Am I lying? No. No. <laughs> no. And, and also like, it even as a, I mean, I can't imagine the next step of that, but even as a parent, you always worry anyway. Always. There's, a, there's that fear anyway. Yeah. You want him to like fly, you want him to mm -hmm. soar, you want him to do stuff, but like, but yeah, I'm afraid that, of people sometimes outside yeah, my house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just that extra layer of, will he be protected by the law? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Man. Well, it's tough, but you know. I love I that he has y'all are sitting there though, yeah. and, that, and with that playbill, and it's your show, and you're doing it. I just love like to show him like what a successful boss mom looks like. Like oh, that he's holding down. And, like, I know, but that's like, because you've also set the bar 
for whatever relationships he's gonna have in the future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. I don't think we realize that until you become a parent, you're like, oh man, we're setting the bar for our mm. kids that are watching us. Yeah. I wanna show them what love looks like, what success looks like, what happiness looks like. Like you're doing such a great job. Thank you yeah. so much. It's Thank so you. cool. <laughs> Thank you. Well, anyway, I know that you like games. I know that you're competitive. I'm competitive. Uh, mm. So I feel like we should play a Christmas game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, we've got a Christmas game coming up next. All the Color Purple is in theater starting Christmas Day. We'll be right back.